In this tutorial, I'm going to show you that just by using a few sliders in Luminar 4, you can turn a landscape image like this into a finished image like this. Let's dive right in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go into AI Enhance and we're going to push the sky. We want to see how far we can take the sky. Let's go right up to there. That seems to be a good one. And the AI Enhance, just to affect the details. Next, we're going to go into the structure. Just to around there. That seems to give the image a bit of punch. And as you can see, it's retaining all the details here and it's bringing out details in the mountains behind. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into color and I'm going to bring this blue back ever so slightly. I'm going to pull the saturation. I'm then going to get into the greens and pull them back. So I'll pull the saturation back to around there and the luminance I'm going to push to around there. Next, I'm going to get into yellow and I'm going to push the saturation of the yellow so we can see the entire image and how it's changed. And if I show you the before and the after, you can see how much punch that's given to this image. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the details enhancer and just push the detail, the small details. I'm then going to get in and push the medium details. Let's go into the landscape enhancer and dehaze this, but remember this will, is a global edit and it will affect the entire image, so we have to be subtle with this one. So that's looking good so far. Next I'm going to get into the light and I'm going to push the smart contrast. And I'll just check the before and after. So you can see that's the image we brought in. Quite flat light. Now we've got a really punchy, vibrant image. I'm now going to get into the advanced settings. So I'm going to take the red up just about there. So I'll just show you the before and after. That's put a slight red in through my shadows as well, which I'm quite happy with for that one. Last but not least, I'm going to get into the creative tools and I'm going to add a lot to this. So if you're going to choose a lot, you can cycle through and you'll see how this affects your image. For me, this one, I'm going to choose smoky. Default setting for the watts is 30. I'm going to pull this back, not too much. So we have the before and the after, and you can see how much punch that's given to the image. Slightly warmer tones in the shadows. The sky has really popped. The mountains in the background have got more clarity. And that's just using a few filters in Luminar 4. Hopefully that lets you see that just by adjusting a few of the filters and adding a lot, you can change the dynamics of an image. Remember, explore the software, enjoy the software and have fun with the software.